Elaine Miskolski is teaching her son Will not only how to make a perfect grilled cheese sandwich, it's probably getting ground. but also how to take care of that nonstick pan. I use this plastic spatula so I won't scratch the pan. Metal utensils have done in many a nonstick pan. Once the coating is scraped or scratched, food will stick to the surface and the pan will be harder to clean. Use wood, silicone, or plastic utensils on your nonstick. And to protect the surface, don't stack anything inside the pan. Calphalon warns that storing pans or lids in their nonstick pans will void the warranty. If you must stack to save space, place a small towel or pot holder on the surface for protection. Another culprit that can damage your nonstick? Cooking spray. If you want your pans to last longer, don't use cooking sprays on them. These sprays can adhere to the nonstick surface, and over time, this buildup can cause food to stick to it. Since nonstick pans are so easy to clean, it's tempting to take them right from the stovetop to the sink, but never submerge a hot nonstick pan in cold water. They can warp, and a warped pan won't sit on the burner properly and can't heat up evenly. Consumer Reports puts nonstick pans through an aggressive abrasion test. We actually test nonstick pans using steel wool, something you should never use on them. And some coatings are more resilient than others. To make your pans last longer, always use non-abrasives to clean your nonstick pans. Finally, if there's buildup on the surface of your pan, don't toss it. Swiss Diamond suggests degunking by rubbing in a paste of baking soda and water, scrubbing with a non-abrasive sponge, then washing it off. This is Luce Montez.